Hello, and welcome to Nextstar's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Cloudflow Designer Workbook. This series covers Tutorial 1, Creating a Tip Calculator. First, we'll go to Setup. We'll click Create. We'll scroll down and go to Workflow and Approvals. We'll then select Flows. And then we'll click New Flow. This will open the Cloudflow Designer. From the, the palette on the left, we'll drag a screen element onto the canvas. We'll then give it a name. We'll call it Bill Information, and then we can tab to autocomplete the unique name. We'll add a field. We'll make it a currency field, and then we'll double click on the currency on the right. We'll enter a label here, which will be Bill Amount. And then we're going to want to give it a scale of two for two decimal points and then required. And then we'll go to add another field and we'll make this a radio button. For the label, we'll enter in quality of service. The value data type is actually going to be number. We're going to also make this required with a scale of two. And then we're going to create a few variables by going down to the choice settings. Click create new choice. And for the label, we'll put in excellent. And the value data type is going to be a number. So we'll select number. We'll put in 20 for the stored value and press OK. And we're going to create a few more variables. So click Add Choice, Create New, Choice, and then we're going to make this one good. Make it a number. Stored value will be 15. Press OK. And add two more choices. This one will be fair, so we're going to create new choice. We'll enter fair for the label. And again, you know, same thing, number 10 for fair. And then the last one will be poor. So we'll click choice, label, poor, number, and zero. Okay, and then verify that your page looks like mine, and then we'll press OK and move on to the next step. Now, we're going to create two formulas, one to calculate the tip amount and one to calculate the total bill. So on the left, we'll click the Resources tab, then we'll double-click Formula to create a new formula. We'll name this formula Tip Amount. The scale is already set to 2, so we won't have to change that. And at the bottom, you'll see Select Resource. So click on the drop down to the right, and then we'll select Screen Input Fields. That's the, uh, the input fields that we created previously, and we'll select Bill Amount. Now what we're trying to do is multiply the bill amount times a percentage to get the tip. So we'll put in an asterisk here for multiplication. And then we'll also go back to the drop down to select uh, the choice that we created earlier. So we'll go to screen choice fields and quality of service. Now, right now, you know, we set the, the numbers to 20, 15, 10, and 0. Uh, so we want to convert those to percentages by dividing by 100. So we'll go ahead and divide quality of service by 100. And that should give us our tip amount. And then make sure that your screen uh, matches mine so that you have the correct formula. And then we'll want to go ahead and press OK and move on to the next formula. From the Resources tab on the left, we'll want to double-click Formula again to create a new formula. I will name this formula Total Bill. You can see that this scale is already filled out for us. And now we'll want to go to the drop down and select the resource. 
and this time we'll go ahead and select the screen input field for bill amount which is what you know when we asked for the original bill amount and then all we want to do is add the tip amount so we'll go to formulas because remember we just created that so we should see it there select tip amount so make sure your screen looks like mine and then press OK and now we're going to add a screen to display the results so select the palette on the left then we'll drag a screen onto the canvas and then we'll name that screen tip summary we can press tab to auto complete the unique name and we'll add a field and we'll add a display text type field we have to give it a name so we'll call this tip summary and then we're going to enter in the following text you say the quality of service was X so you should leave a tip of Y for this total bill of Z and now we're just going to add our different fields so we'll add our uh, choice field then we'll add both of our formulas and we're simply going to cut and paste each one of these into the appropriate spot replacing X Y and Z so go ahead and do that now just make sure that your display text looks like mine and then we'll press OK so now we want to save the flow so go ahead and click the save button in the top left it'll ask you to enter a name put in calculate tip and tab to autocomplete and enter a description if you'd like and then press OK and then it should give us an error because we haven't connected bill information to tip summary and we haven't selected where we start so press OK here and let's drag an arrow from bill information to tip, the tip summary and go ahead and press the green button on bill information to state that that's the starting element and press save and once this saves we're going to go ahead and click run And then we'll enter in the bill let's make it 100 to make it easy and select excellent and we should get a 20 percent tip here so it should be for a total bill of 120 and it looks like that worked congratulations on creating your first flow in our next video we'll cover tutorial 2 creating a sustainability survey thank you for joining us click to follow us on youtube for more great content